Coloma has just announced that it supports structured outputs. It's now possible to constrain the model's output to a specific format defined by adjacent schema. And they have upgraded both their Python package and their JavaScript library in order to support the structured outputs. Some of the use cases for structured outputs could be parsing documents, extracting data from images, and structuring the large language model responses. So instead of the model churning out a huge paragraph, you can constrain the model to give a specific outputs that you wanted to give. To get started, we'll have to upgrade the Olama Python package or the Java library. So all we have to do is pip install minus u Olama. So even if you have Olama installed, you will have to upgrade the library. Or if you're a JavaScript user, you will have to do npm i Olama. Though they have updated both the Python and the JavaScript library, let's take with Python and I'm going to show you in this video how we can make use of the structured output using some examples they have given in their blog. So let's get started. So they have given some of the tips for getting best results out of structured outputs. One is that they're asking us to use Pydantic if we are a Python user or they're asking us to use Zord if we are JavaScript users in order to define the schema for the response. And they are asking us to use return as JSON is one of the phrases in the prompt that we provide as input so that the model knows that it has to return a JSON. And if your question is quite deterministic, for example, if you are asking for the capital of a country or if you're asking, you know, who are the actors in this movie, then you probably have to set the temperature to zero so that the model gets quite deterministic. So let's keep that in mind before we play around with the structured outputs. So there are two possibilities that they have shown in the example. One is data extraction, where you can extract structured data from text. So we will use a text model for that. And the next possibility is with image description. If you want to give an image and get a description in structured output, then we will get an output that you know describes the image in terms of the scene, color, and whatever the schema that you define. So let's look at both the examples. So what I've done is I've created a directory called Olama demo where we're going to write the Python file in order to make use of the structured output. And I'm going to activate the Conda environment, which is the LLMs environment. So in that virtual environment, let's install Olama. So it's pip install minus u Olama. So it's downloading it and it's going to be installing it. So if you're going to be just updating the Python package, but not going to update your local Olama by downloading here, then you're going to face this problem, which is to do with the JSON schema error. I just came across this ticket that's been raised three days ago. All that we have to do is go to download and download the latest package corresponding to your operating system. So for the data extraction, I'm going to be using Llama 3.2. And in that, I'm going to be using the 3 billion parameter model. and for the image description, I'm going to be using a Lava model, which is a general purpose vision and language understanding model. And in that, I'm going to be using the smallest, which is the 7 billion parameter per model, which is already 4.7 gig. So with the installation out of the way, I've created two files, text demo and vision demo. So let's look into text demo first. We have imported chat from Olama and we also imported the base model from Pydantic. And we're going to extend the base model in order to create the input schema or define the input schema. Let's say we are dealing with pets. We've got this input text, which is that I have two pets, the cat named Luna, who is five years old and loves playing with yarn. She has gray fur. I also have a two year old black cat named Loki who loves tennis balls. So this is the input that we are going to pass. And in the output, we would like to extract these details, which is name, animal, age, color and favorite toy. So if I run that, we should be able to get a response that has actually extracted all these details that are there in the schema that we have defined. So let's go to that. So I'm going to run the text demo now. Let's see what happens. We can see that the model has extracted and returned in the exact same format that we wanted. It's got the name of the first cab, which is Luna, age five, color gray, and favorite toys yarn. And it has also extracted the next one, which is Loki, 
which is a cat which is two year old and the color is black and the favorite toy is tennis balls that's bang on so let's move on to the vision task now which is to kind of extract details about an image so in the vision task we provide an input image and we would like to extract the description of the image in a schema that we define let this be the image description schema that we have defined so there will be a summary about the image and it will have a list of objects on top of that we'll also have the scene defined and we are also interested in time of the day the settings being is it a indoor outdoor or unknown and we also want to extract any text that's available in the image and we are passing the exact beach image that's there in olama website so this is the image that we are passing as input let's run it to find out how it goes we have got the response from the model we can see that it's given a summary which is the image depicts a tropical beach setting featuring a palm tree prominently on the sandy shore the sky is clear and blue with white clouds scattered across it the ocean appears calm and inviting with light blue waters that suggest a warm climate there are no visible text in the image and it lists all the objects that are there for example this beach and this palm tree and there's ocean and there's also sky and there's clouds blue sky white clouds sand and tropical beach so these are the objects that it's extracted and it defines a scene as beach scene with a palm tree and the ocean in the background and time of day is afternoon and the setting is outdoor and the image doesn't have any text so it's blank so that's structured output guys and it seems to work pretty well in Olama. So with that, I'm signing off and I will see you in my next video. Until then, take care.